Welcome to the Off the Leash Podcast, your one-stop shop for all Mankato Moondogs baseball. I'm AJ Switek, joined by the lone offensive all-star on the team this year, Matthew Fleischacker, also a local kid with the Minnesota State University Mankato Mavericks. Matthew, I appreciate you hopping on today and uh, trying some of your teammates and coaches' weird food combinations. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. That we will. So while they're cooking up the first combination let's take a step back to the spring you did something pretty special you set your school's single season record for base on balls what went into seeing the baseball so well from the plate and having a patient approach that's carried into this summer yeah just uh trying to pass pass it along to the next guy um trying to do my part in the lineup wherever wherever i'm at that day and uh trying to get on base for guys to drive me in you know there's always a good group of guys behind me so just put putting those guys in good spots to drive me in Absolutely. It looks like we got the first food being served up here. Uh, it is goldfish swimming on top of a pool of applesauce. Can't believe I have to do this for a third time today, but I'll do it. Uh, so give it a try and let me know who you think made this. I'll give you a hint. All of these combinations are either by your coaching staff or pitchers, which I feel like definitely checks out. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> no. It's not the worst though. I'm 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 a goldfish guy, so like that's Would you go back for another bite? Uh probably not. Yeah, but not great. Uh, What's the best flavor of goldfish? Original. Original? So uh, these are your favorite goldfish in there. Right. That should tell you might, a little something have, about this combo. It might have ruined it, but yeah. we'll see. Well, um, who do you think is an avid in the pregame, I don't know if you've caught him putting uh some goldfish with the go go squeeze. Haven't. This is this is a tough one for me. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Shumsky. It is Tyler Vargas, Kay. another pitcher, but not Shum. <laughs> uh, so this is not something I would do again. We'll uh, leave it at that. With new food coming in, Matthew, I've got another question for you before we dig into what looks like Lay's potato chips and whipped cream. Question for you. All-Star game, less than a week away. Obviously, you're the bat representing the Mankato Moondogs. What does that mean to you, and how does it feel to be able to play in front of a home crowd here? Yeah, no, it'll be it'll be awesome to play in front of the home crowd. Um, got a lot of family and friends coming down to watch, so that'll be good to see them. Haven't seen them all summer, so uh, good opportunity there. And just uh, playing in front of the home crowd, I got uh, Aiden Burns coming down from Wilmer. Uh, it'll be fun to play with him, played with him all spring, so... Absolutely. Well, it's going to be a really fun week. You don't want to miss it here in Mankato. Another thing you don't want to miss, reaction to this. It's Lay's potato chips covered in what looks to be Ready Whip. Matthew, I know that you're lactose intolerant. <laughs> Luckily, uh, I think this barely fits the bill, which should tell you how fake whipped cream is. But uh, let's give it a whirl and see what we think of it. I don't know. To me, that definitely plays. Yeah, it's not. It's not bad. No, no. no. I, I kind of got a sweet tooth, so. Right. That, me too. That, that, that's not the worst thing. Like it's not something I think I'd go out of my way to buy both of. Right. But if I had both and I'm in a pinch, I don't have a problem with that. No. Uh, who do you think put this together in that clubhouse? I'm gonna go Carter Brable. This is uh, Coach Ben Mays. So, uh, <laughs> maybe when he's doing some late night <laughs> research and prep, finds himself in front of the fridge. Yeah. Doing them individually out of the can. I don't know exactly, but he definitely seemed to be avid about that combination. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, what are we being brought here? Oh, it's the Sprite and Cookies. Uh, another combination by one of your teammates. This isn't a coach. I'll give you that. Um, just go to town on it. Let me know what you think. It's not the worst thing. No. no, definitely not. No. Um, again, it's not something I think I'd go out of my way to do. Right. If I had milk, I'd probably turn there. But sure. if all that's in this fridge is Sprite, I am a firm believer <laughs> a wet cookie is better than a dry one. So, you know what? That kind of plays. I'll, I'll yeah. put it that yeah. way. No, this isn't This isn't the worst one. Yeah, no, this is uh, all right, I guess. Um, 
Before we move on to our next food combination, another question for you, Matthew. This one more directed for fans because who doesn't want to know? You're a second baseman at the next level. If you had to say you modeled your game after one player, who would it be and why? I mean, the easy answer would be Jose Altuve. But growing up, I, I used to watch a lot of Brandon Phillips, um, just like his defense and uh, the way he played the game in the field. Um, I was a big, big Brandon Phillips guy. Absolutely, yeah. I thought you'd turn to El Tuve, but that's a that's kind of a deep pull there with Brandon Phillips. That's a legend of uh, when I was growing up, too. So love it. We'll uh, move on from these cookies. You could just drop it right in there. Um, to, oh, Lord. This. We've got a creature this finger. A, this isn't a great start. And sriracha. Alright, let's go for it. Alright. Mm. Not liking that combo. Yeah, that's disgusting. <laughs> um, I've heard of spicy pickles. I've actually tried to make them before. It didn't go well, but this is uh, worse than that somehow. Um, that just but, doesn't work. No, I don't know. I would never do that again. Um, but someone does it often. This is their late night snack of sorts. Go through the cupboards, find a uh, pickle, and then voluntarily make the choice to dip it there, which is uh, definitely a decision. Who do you right. think it is? Is it a guy playing right now? Active guy? It is not an active I'm gonna guy. I'm going to go with Josh Alexander. Josh Alexander? No, I'll give you a hint. It's a pitcher. No longer on the team. Came out of the bullpen. Brian? Not Brian Garrett. This is Ben Rosine. Oh, that's ugly. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> don't want you to catch strays now that you're not here, Ben. Really shoved it up for us this summer, but that's disgusting. Um, we'll move on from that. Matthew, there's no more weird food to try. I've got one more question to leave you with. Still plenty of ball to be played this summer, obviously. The Moondogs looking to make a playoff push. You've been a big part of it. How do you guys look to move forward with one more home game before the All-Star break, and then a couple more options on the road up in Dickinson? You've got a final stretch coming up. How does this team build momentum and try to get their first playoff berth since back in 2021? Yeah, I think uh, we're playing good baseball right now. I think it's just day by day, um, keeping the momentum going. Um, play every day, so it's pretty easy to get hot and pretty easy to get cold, so we can just kind of stay pretty level-headed and keep riding the wave. I think we'll be all right. Well, there you have it. The Moondogs looking to ride the momentum wave for their first playoff berth in over three seasons. This has been an Off the Leash podcast. I'm AJ Swintech. That's Matthew Fleischacker. Appreciate your time, Matthew. This was presented by the Mankato Moondogs.